Welcome back to the pod. Oh my gosh, what is that scar on your arm? Uh, no, here, save for the pod. That's content. No, we're in the podcast right now. So what happened to my <laughs> arm? Anyways, I was up at the shooting range the other day, and I was like, hey, there's a target up there, and I need to go get it. So I was like... Wait, turd? Target. I like they said a turd. There's a target up there. <laughs> but I was like, there's a target up there, and I'm going to go get it. <laughs> Little did I know, it looked grassy. It looked like a grassy bank. It wasn't, okay? It was a mud cliff with grass growing on it. I went up there to climb it. There was nothing there but grass, and I just fell onto a briar bush. And let's see it. There it is. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. It's it's small. That was six inches. today. Six no, inches? that was yet. Yeah. Six inches? Yeah. That's probably six inches. Yeah. It was bigger than the one the emu left, so what you got to say about that? Emus need to step up their game. Yeah, scar more. Yeah, you need to go deeper. <laughs> Scratch much? <laughs> Burn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get that throat right on that mic. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but anyways, today's going to be a pretty interesting podcast because I have notes this time. And uh, we're going to be addressing some of the comments from last episode, so that's going to be pretty interesting to say the least. But we even started, started off with this. Check this out. Army Ranger kills a terrorist with an MRE spoon. I did a video. I did a video a few months ago, maybe, where I ate MREs for one day straight. 24. <laughs> one day straight. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. It, it seemed better on paper. Okay. Okay. But <laughs> it's, it, was, it wasn't a challenge at all. But <laughs> we tried them out. Anyways, I ate them. They were decent. Some of them were decent. But man, halfway through. We started figuring out that those spoons were kind of deadly, okay? Or at least they felt deadly. Here's a picture of them. They're right there on the edge. The white one, that's a normal spoon. Standard. The brown spoon, that's an MRE spoon. Not standard. They're about twice as thick, and they're mean, and they're pointy, and they can be manipulated. Well, in the words, um, Garn Dog, it's about time someone put those spoons to good use. It it's about time. Yeah, apparent that's according to guard guard dog. That's what they should be doing. But yeah, a spoon. Have you ever uh, considered what other other everyday tools could be used as weapons? Everyday, like if you don't, I think it's just me. I walk down the street and I'm always like. If that stranger attacks me, what are my odds? What do I have? Like, what tools am I working with? Yeah, you got to think about it. Sometimes, even though these guns are legal and dangerous, sometimes you may need a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, you got to you gotta use the keys in your pocket. Or maybe maybe it's a, a long day on a walk and you've got your staff, you know? Yeah, you got your you staff. Gotta, you got to do it. Maybe you have your nump. Maybe you've been working. You got your hammer. Or you have a briefcase. Yeah. I mean, you got to be resourceful. And that's, well, let's say this, Doomsday, let's say Doomsday cuts off, everything goes down, you're out in the wilderness, and let's say there's not even people, let's say you have to hunt, and, all right, let's say you're in the city, and for some reason all the people are gone. You have to hunt with what you can randomly find in the city. What are you going with? Like, everyday stuff. Like you're on the subway. What are you going to try to find to kill a rat and eat it? On the subway? At Subway, day, I'd probably get, um, let's see, um, here's what I'd do. If I was on the Subway and I need to kill a rat, first thing, I'd go to the bread thing, and I'd pull out a loaf of bread. I'd throw it out as bait. Then I'd get behind the counter where all the food is, and then I would, I'd pick up something heavy. I don't have a plan. You just got to find something that's like a sharp stick, like a staff kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking. Like a pole like, like a, that you can up. Brute force club. Yeah. You can make a club out of anything. Yeah. Yeah. As for that, as for MRE spoons, we're going to go up close and personal with one today. That's probably going to disappear. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, Anyways, no. we have an MRE today. Oh, no. Open it. Oh, no. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm competent enough to open it. This is going to be today's unbiased review, whatever. We're not getting sponsored by MREs, as you can imagine. Look at this kid. He doesn't even know how to open an it MRE. It says peelable. Sure. Try it. Wait, right there. See how good that works out for you. 
Mm-hmm. I've, got, I've got sweaty hands. Yeah. Because I was it, I was nervous when something got slung on the table. My hands are sweating, so it's not really my fault. Yeah, it looks peelable to me, don't it? You know now you open MRE? KG pocket knife? Yeah, that's exactly how you do it. Let me find one real quick. <laughs> I've always got mine on me, but I'm just trying to pull it out right now because... You don't have one. I'm not emotionally prepared to... Will before we before we go any deep, fair. That's fair. Yeah, fair. yeah. That's fair. fair. That's fair. What um uh what flavor is that one? Because they're all different for the it's most part. It's a menu twenty four Southwest style beef and black beans. Oh no! Or as they say in Spanish, beef a la facon Southwest ox arecots norse. Oh, okay. We should have just said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's peel it apart one piece by one piece and see what we got. If you guys don't know much about MREs, we're about, you're about to find out today. Okay. So you, like, mean, you mean to do it since I, I'm, I'm unexperienced and see if I can explain it? Yeah. And Show then, us what then, you got. And then you give you give Because I'm expert. an expert. I'm an expert. Okay. What do we got? Oh, First thing, pulling just, it out. It's just all coming. It's all coming right All at way. once. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in a... Another plastic receptacle. I think mm. that's a, the right word. Wow. Vocabulary word of the day. Receptacle. What does it mean? Look it up. <laughs> You're asking the wrong okay. guys. Okay. What is that? It's a very green pouch. Yeah. This looks... Oh, there's something... Oh, I don't like that. There's something like solid inside it. You can... Oh, my gosh. I feel right there. Feels like feels like food. Huh. Huh. What is this? No, there's like squishy parts. This is actually the Southwest style beef and black beans with sauce. A nine two eight four two eight established twelve ninety. That's a long time ago. But yeah, this is our encore or our entree. Yeah, that's pretty. This is our garbage bag because it. Yeah, that's where you put all your garbage. and your nutrition facts, which are the most the single most important part. Well, yeah, I mean, especially if you're out there fighting for your life. That's, that's what you're like. What are the nutrition facts? Yeah. You know? Is this enough to sustain my life um, for the next 20 minutes? Let's see. No, no, cheese spread. Oh, wow. You got to need this package. Good. Need it. Is this how you need something? It feels right. Watch the knife. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. <laughs> I'm a man who knows his way around a KG pocket knife. Okay. Okay. But cheese sauce. Is it no cheese spread. Sauce? Spread. Cheese spread. Oh, this feels... Need package. What does need mean? Vanilla pound cake? Oh, my goodness. Those a, are good. A treat. Those are good. A treat. Those are good. We don't want to... Oh, my goodness. This thing's sick. This more, thing's sick. More cheese spread. No. They gave us two cheeses. One a piece. They, they knew we were sharing. <laughs> Why did they give us so much cheese? Mocha, cappuccino, instant powder. If you... Can I let them know something? If you're drinking Starbucks right now... You're a sucker, cause you could have this. You could with have. vanilla pound cake. I bet there's more coffee stuff in there. If you keep looking. You're a sucker, cause you probably cause this is mocha cappuccino. Yeah, powder. cappuccino. Yeah. Teriyaki beef. I think that's just gonna be like some oh beef I've, jerky. Right I there. think it is. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a beef. This is a meat sticks. What it the is. The weapon. The WMD weapon of mass destruction itself. I don't wow. know which camera this is going to be on. Wow. That is sick. I that mean, is it. How did he do it? How did he do it? Hey, you keep looking. I'll figure out what how he did it. Because I'm looking at this. I'm like, unless like you just choked on it. I don't, I don't know about it. Here that. we go. Being only feet away, our Ranger buddy's instinct and tra training took over. He rushed to the enemy, immediately engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. As they wrestled this ranger, can't seem to get off his knife. I can't read. Something about his knife. He couldn't get his knife. He, without hesitation, he reaches for the first solid, solid object he could get his hands on. An MRE spoon. After grabbing the spoon, he began stabbing the enemy in the neck until he was dead. I'm just saying, guys. Okay. It's possible. Yeah. It happened. I'm buying that. Ow! That, I, saw, I almost died. I thought that I thought this was fake. It the, ain't fake. The, the, I'm, you I'm think honest. the sit rep would lie to you? I don't know. Who the sit rep is well, so maybe, maybe. Okay. Oh, overall, pretty solid spoon though. Huh. This thing's like huh. military great. I know these right here. This right here. This is the hot hands right here. You 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 going to a football game or hunting? 
I'm sure your audience does that every now and then. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, that's just hot hands. That's all that is. Yeah, it's a hot hands that cook your food. What is it? Oh, that's the good stuff. It has to be. Apple pieces and spiced sauce. (laughs) That sounds delicious. Have you had this? I've. Which ones have you had? Which. Oh, this one's still pieces. This one's like literally apple chunks in this pack. Tortillas Chipotle. Oh, I've had those before. Tort- those are terrible. That's what I was looking forward to, so I'm concerned. Let me ask you this. Do you do you like Southwest style beef and black beans? I don't like beans at all. Hmm, me neither. But it's happening it, for the gonna, viewer. We're going to have to today. For the viewer. Make I it- like how heavy it is. I'm not going to be cooking or any of this because All right, I don't I'll go the, ahead and be preparing it. I don't have the mental capacity. In the meantime, while we're doing this, you want to read us off some questions from last episode? Because some quick, 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 quick. That didn't lead up as good as it. Questions. <laughs> <laughs> we want to address some of you guys, what you said, because we got some really good suggestions on the gas gas station draft that we did last episode. Also, one thing you may or may not notice, check this out over here. In the last episode... We said that if we got 3,000 likes, I would do a Mountain Dew taste test. At the at the current time, we are at 1.7 And uh, at, at filming this. I just want to say we may or may not have slipped up. We already filmed the podcast where I tasted all those Mountain Dews, but we're not dropping it until the Latin, last episode gets 3,000. I mean, because if it doesn't get 3,000, then they don't want to see it. It was terrible. I'll, it, was, it was terrible. Or but was I, it? You'll never know unless we get those 3,000 likes. That is very true. But anyways, yeah, if you want to go see that, I guess get that 3,000. But we are going to address some questions while I go ahead and start get to the, cooking. the chefing process. Get to cooking. Gordon Ramsay, be with me. All right. You be asking away or just commenting I'm going to give you, I'm going to, while we're going through this, I'm just going to give you some of the people's list that what they would have drafted and you just. I'm still in your water. Why are you still your water? Because I'm almost out. This doesn't feel fair. Yeah. Olivia's life drink body armor. Never had it, so I'm not going to judge you. That's a little stout. I saw that one too. I was like, "How in the world are you going to drink body armor? Like it probably weighs a pretty good amount." He stopped bullets, dude. Salt and vinegar Pringles. That's just the, I don't like the sound of salt. I don't like vinegar. the sound of that either. I like that sauerkraut. When vinegar. I was a kid, when I said a bad word, I had to drink vinegar. Like, as a punishment. So now, like, if I just think of vinegar, I'm like, nope. <laughs> I don't think vinegar should be eaten. Like, it's not meant to be <laughs> no, eaten. No, it definitely it? wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't like we weren't drinking, like, by the glass, but it was enough to make you not want to do it again. Ever. Um, Chef KG. Dessert. Okay. Donuts. I said that, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I said that. That's... There was someone else dropped a stinking banger that was a miscellaneous, and I forgot what it was. But someone said um, there was one really good one. Oh, it was the black uh, tree. You know what I mean? The black tree. Thing. Okay, I want to get. I want to. I want to make a request for them. Um, I definitely overfilled this. I never knew you could sing KG ten out of ten. Give them. Give them something else. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's all I got, man. I'm getting emotional. Oh, there's another Tanner here. Uh oh. And he also agrees that Fritos Honey Barbecue Twists are elite. You know, I've not even, I've still not had those. I guess we're kind of revealing that we didn't go to the gas station directly after the episode to get me some. I don't know if we promised that or not. I don't either. I forgot. But if we did... I've slept since then. It's been a while. I guess they just reinforced another way that you're just a fraud. That's not That's not false. I'm going to set this right here up against my laptop, and if y'all see it start smoking, let me know. Just comment below. I'm going to go ahead and prepare your meat stick here. Okay, we got a... Why can't we get an hour of long Red Dead Redemption play? And I think the people... Don't go for an hour. Don't go for two hours. 24-hour Red Dead Redemption. Live on there. 
24 hour. A 24 hour Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption, Redemption Marathon. Marathon. All and all, the whole time you have DDMREs. The whole time for 24 hours straight. What's the lot goal? Give him a lot goal. 15,000 likes. 15. My Wi Fi can't stay good enough for 24 it's hours. It's going to have to. It's going to happen. But I mean, hey, if, I mean, if we get 15,000 likes, it's just going to have to. Checking this out right this person, here. This person says that you won the draft. Wow. Yeah. They, but they also they also put Pringles with salt and vinegar. So check this out. Check that out. It is a premium teriyaki beef stick. Okay, wait. This guy right here, he has the miscellaneous, the best miscellaneous. He might be the one I see in. Gasoline. <laughs> that's that's important. <laughs> that's that's you played us. You beat us, okay? He wins. You. It doesn't matter if you put salt and vinegar Pringles. You won. Listen, we're over here playing checkers. He's playing Tetris. He, he's he's light years. Yeah. Some would even say Buzz light years ahead of us. Oh, what a superhero. Don't get me excited about it. Eat the teriyaki beef stick and give us your opinion. This is important. Um, somebody yeah. wants uh, KG fan questions. Well, that's what the comment sections are because we're gonna we're gonna be reading them. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna read them whether he likes them or not. Because so he can read. I I read real good. I read gooder than most people I'm aware of. I can't talk and try to open this. Yeah, it's a tough multitasking. Why do you? I'm telling you, my hands are sweaty again because you're talking about eating beans and you know getting nervous. There's the pocket knife if you need it. Here, you just open oh, it you for just me. Want me to open it? All yeah. Right. Well, I guess I bought these guys. Kendall, your friend likes good country. Uh, yeah, I do. You look what? Thank you, Liam. Here you go, buddy. Have fun oh, yeah. with that. Oh, oh. I don't know. Yeah. I've never had this exact MRE. I've only had like maybe five in my life. So like, I'm not an expert or anything, but I have had a few and I do think they're one of the coolest things. That's tender. Yeah, I went ready for that texture. I really? Very good Slim Jim crisp. It's not good? It doesn't, does it even have a smell? It's okay. Yeah, it's got a smell. Listen, you got to think about it, especially yeah. with this. Is this heating up? All right, feel this. Feel the bottom of that. It's not even getting hot yet. That's not good. That is hot. It's not hot enough. Well, that might be true. We need it smoking. But the thing is, you have KG, to... you don't understand the boot gang. No, I don't. Not at all. But if we get, have, have I might one day. You know, I want to say this. I read a lot of the comments. They were saying, dude, you're listening to the wrong country. So today I got in the truck and I said, hey, Siri, play country music. No, not actually. Justin Lamb, the drink would be a late. That is the best pick. But as everybody is not a Kentucky person, I couldn't pick it. You, you're you aware, though. That is, late's the best drink ever made. And if you're not from Kentucky, I'm sorry. Sorry. You probably don't know about it. Yeah, you probably don't. It's. I also saw... Uh, Grippos, also the best chip, just in Kentucky though. So, sorry about it. Let me try the other side of that meat stick. Oh yeah, get your bite. Let's see what we're working with here. It it has the it looks um not very appetizing. Yeah, but you keep coming back wow. for more. Wow, wow. It's not. It's just indifferent. It's okay. That texture hits hard though. You Good know or what? bad? Bad. Yeah, I don't let like me, it Let me much. let me tell you what it tastes like. I just think I wasn't prepared like. for it. <laughs> like, you almost don't have to bite it. Like, I feel like if you didn't have teeth, like, you just had gums, you just go straight through that steel because it's just nothing. It's the same consistency as a hot dog. And that's yeah. not what I expect. Maybe, maybe less. Like, maybe even yeah. more tender. Like a cooked hot dog. That's not what I expect from a beef stick. What is this? I don't know. Oh, that's the tortillas. Are you supposed to eat them with something? Yeah, you're supposed to use the tortillas to eat them with the beans. But right now, we're going to go ahead and tear into these. Um, I just want to say, I got a lot of support Yeah, we're on gonna tear into the, the Fritos. Cake. The Frito? You smell it now? No. Well, it smells like bombs. So if smells you smell like, a bomb. It smells like beef and beans. Really? South, south, it, if I had to put a, a directional scent to it i'd say it's pretty southwest <laughs> pretty southwest vibes on that smell this right here is going to blow your mind yeah. not even kidding okay 
KG, re- release a song called Dirt on My Crocs. How's that going to go? Give, give us a sample. We know you're in the lab. I mean, I would, but I just want to... Dirt on my crop. I just want people to know that if you have inside information from the channel like that one to where something's already in production, try not to spoil it because there's a lot of people who don't know. Yeah, Jaden. He would so Jaden, I don't know how the you got the music video is in is in post production right now. Yeah, I don't know how you got the information, but please don't spread it. Coming soon. It's going live August twenty eighth, twenty twenty. Somebody shares your Cracker Barrel order. What was my Cracker Barrel order? Something about this. Oh, four sides of dumplings because they don't come with the chicken. They know what to do. They know what's up. Try this. Pick you off a piece. Oh. What is that? Ain't that is a trans fat free vanilla pound cake. This is probably the best thing you've ever tasted in your entire life. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, good. That's pretty good. It is. I'm I'm pretty high uh, quality. You know. Taste buds. I don't like a lot of things. Really? Yeah. I'm a very picky eater, but this is good enough. This is, this is it, Chief. Yeah. Is that what the kids would say? This is it, Chief. This is something I can get behind. Did I you, really wait, get so behind you, you've listened to the new country? Yeah, I've listened to the new country. Or the old, the old country that was recommended. Actually, I listened to both of them. Okay. I, I went on a deep dive over the past little bit ever since i read the comments people was like listen that's fake country dude kane brown who is kane brown he's a pop singer that acts country that's what they saying i didn't disagree with them i'm not a big fan one guy even went as far to say kane brown makes his ears bleed i was like dang you should probably get that checked out yeah see a doctor for sure yeah um but i did check out new country an earologist yeah that's that's a that's the thing that's what they're called earology yeah probably as for old country don't look it up There's a lot of Merle Haggard. Mm, still not a fan. Oh. It's too slow. Too slow. Kane Brown's too fast. Merle's too slow. You know what? What's that one guy's Didn't name? Behold. Zach Brown Band? Yeah. He's pretty solid. Okay. Can we get behind that. What's his name? Jason Aldean. Take it or leave it. He's all right. Not going to get mad at him. Still don't really care about his tractor. But uh, there's one. We got what's a video. his name? Well, oh, that one guy. What's he saying? He said, you don't need early Harlan alive. Brad Paisley. <laughs> yeah, him. He's pretty good. He didn't write the that song, but me. he sung it. Um, KG, there's a request to go duck hunting. Oh, ducks in there, bro. <laughs> make ducks here, I'd shoot them. Ain't no ducks in here. A lot of Ryan Upchurch. I've All never right. heard of Ryan this Upchurch. This thing is about to explode right now. Are you, are you, look at this. Look. It's literally moving. It's smoking. Yeah, that's not good on your laptop, honestly. No, no, no. It's going to blow it up. It's going to blow it up. What's next? You want to try this? Somebody says, what's Moana? Kendall, give him the breakdown. Moana is a Polynesian princess movie brought to you by <laughs> Disney Pixar. And it is... Not Pixar. Disney Pixar. I don't think it's Pixar. Is it? No, it ain't Pixar. It's a really good movie, and I think it'll change your life. I've never seen it without crying. That's just me. It is what it is. I really like Moana. It's number one on my favorite thing, movies to watch. And it's also my background screensaver for over two years. Very good movie. Very good. You had a story, huh? I mean, in this notes, you said you had a story to tell, and I think it, they want it to be told. You asked me to tell a story. I mean, tell us a story. But it, it, let's. There's there's some good comp. <laughs> oh, this Kendall Gray guy says I don't like that KG guy no more. He don't like Kane Brown. It is what it is. It is what it is. It it is what it is. I don't know that commenter. He seems like he's whack. This thing's blowing up. It's not making any sound. Let's see. What we got? What we got? Um. All right, we're gonna have to move on. You this don't like the comments? Too long. What's your favorite gun? Uh, I like AK forty seven. They're pretty good. 
Well, you're good. getting a lot of repercussions on the Mountain Dew comments. Why? Do they do they agree? No. They have to agree. I think that was the coldest take you had. Yeah. No. No, I don't think it was. I think the one with boots were. Boots boots I may have overstepped a little bit, but honestly not really. If you guys didn't see last episode one, you need to watch it. But two, I said that boots were a little overkill, but especially if you don't use the boots. Like showing off like leather boots, like cowboy boots, but you never actually use those cowboy boots. And I stand by that. But if you wear boots daily, but you actually use the boots, that's fair game. I'm talking about people who wear boots, but don't use them. Concrete warriors. Does Kendall reply? Mm-mm. I liked Abram on way better. Wow. What do you have to say about that? Me too. Abram was a... Abram, Abram, better than me. Abram is a bundle of knowledge. I'm just... Hey. Oh, Abram even commented... He said Mills. Hmm. But there was more M's, but I didn't hold that out as long. Yeah. Okay, so what's what's in that? Uh, Your story. How, how much? We got time. It's we, still We got time? Here. Okay. Um, since I, I it's not going to be as interesting as your story about the cow. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. But um, I don't remember what summer this was. It was pre-COVID. I was working at a water park. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a maintenance man, the maintenance man in my personal opinion. Some of the other maintenance men might have said they were the maintenance man, but I probably claim that it's, it's all subjective. Yeah, it really is. You know, of mm-hmm. all the maintenance men, I saw me there more than anybody else, mm-hmm. you know, but anyways, and so if you know something about water parks in general, they're not always the most sanitary and clean places. I've heard. I've saw. Yeah, you've saw. So any delays, so there's like a break room. And maintenance man basically means you go around, you pick up garbage. Mm-hmm. Um, clean up dookie. Clean. And so one day, somebody comes up and they're like, hey, I think there's some poop in the Lazy River. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dang, that's tough. <laughs> like, I don't know. And so they tell the like my manager or whatever, and he's like, "Okay, I want you to go get it." I was like, "Well, do we know where it's at?" <laughs> he's like, "No." So instead of, I, I'm I'm pretty sure this is against policy. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but I think you're supposed to clear the water <laughs> if there's confirmed feces in dookie. there. Yeah, dookie poop. I don't know how you want me to say it. Um, but they decided not to do that. They decided, you know, everybody looks like they're having a lot of fun in that lazy river. You don't want to make them get out, ruin their day. They're paying customers. <laughs> so, anyways. You just got to go find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, w- instead of clearing the pool, what they <laughs> what they decided that was the best plan of action was they gave me a pool net. <laughs> and I'm just walking around like on Looney Tunes. Like when they're like, you know when Wally Cody is trying to. Uh, <laughs> yeah catch uh the road runner yeah. with the net like i'm just walking around and the the weirdest part is if i'm at a public water park and i see what i see in me walking <laughs> around with the net scoping you, the water you out you know it's time to get out nobody questioned it <laughs> <laughs> nobody at any point questioned why i was you know hunting hunting in the lazy river with the net i think i would pretty quick be like i think i know what this is about <laughs> it's either two things it's either a dookie or someone let a fish loose. There's, it's pretty much poop. <laughs> if you ever see that at a water park, it's poop. It, it is. Did you find it? So no. <laughs> but <laughs> the next day they found it in the field. <laughs> so there was actually de- there was for sure confirmed poop. Um, but no, I'm just I'm just walking around the outside, just looking at people. They kind of look back. They don't really think much of it. And I'm like, I want to tell them, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, that's just not my job at the same time. My job is to, is to catch this culprit, catch this snicker bars in the lazy river. Um, what is that? Code Brown. Yeah. Code Brown boys. They, they, let, they someone dropped a Hershey's. Somebody dropped a Hershey's, you know, and, but you know, Maybe it didn't stay in circulation too long. Maybe it got in that filter pretty quick, I hope. 
I don't know. I feel bad for the person who found it. I don't want to bring it up like this, but I'm surprised how often that actually happens. And how often it does? It's pretty. One day, I went, somebody somebody comes up and gets me, like they just come up to you and they just like tell you their problems, like you're supposed to fix them, but whatever. Um, and they're like, there's underwear floating in the, there was underwear floating in the lazy river, but nobody was like naked and nobody had their trunks off. So I have no clue how we got to that point. Have you ever seen Zoolander? And he like does like this weird trick and without taking his pants off, he can just pull his underwear out. They must have pulled that trick because I have no clue how nobody took off. I mean, unless they just brought a spare pair and was like, I'm going to release these. It's going to be a good day at the water park. That's what we should start doing. Going to water parks and just releasing things in the river and just see what happens. Chaos. You could take some fish, just let loose and just just watch. <laughs> just a pocket full of minnows. Or a, a turtle, a snapping turtle. Just... No, go to your Walmart, buy like a bunch of packs of Snickers. <laughs> and just let them loose. Just let them loose. And then guys like me would have had to deal with it. All right. L- let's see what we have going on here. I believe it is ready. Ish. Oh my gosh. I put too much water in it. This is not a secret, but I definitely put way too much water in this. So I think that's a problem. Oh, I'm going to gag if I eat this. <laughs> This is hot. This is really hot. <laughs> bon voyage. That's that's for when the ship's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. There's uh, your tortillas. Here's your cheese. <laughs> Your Chez. I'll be warming it up right here. Warm up your Chez sauce. We got we got your Cooperino Cappuccino. Here's your applesauce with chunks. Oh, those are a hard shell. No, they're nope, not. they're not. They're just, that's the Doritos Locos Tacos. Yeah. Did they sponsor uh, they didn't. Taco Bell? They didn't. We'll send them the invoice, though. Okay, yeah. Here's your spoon. <laughs> nah. WMD, Weapon of Mass Destruction. In the meantime, while you're digging into that, I'm going to show them what also comes with an MRE. See? All right. It comes with napkins, which actually isn't. It's actually not napkins. It is TP toilet paper. But it can double as both. Have you already eaten it? No. Oh. We got a moist towelette. That's good. We got isodized salt. Do you want some isodized salt? Yeah. All right. There you go. You can use that. We have a beverage enhancer. We have a beverage-based raspberry top three. Do you want that? Okay. That smells t- great. Here, hold, hold it. Hold it. Yeah, I, I got to situate things. Okay, I'll try. If we were in war and we were in a foxhole together, I'd really need... We'd have to hold each other's thing. We'd have to hold yeah. each other's meat and beans. Meat and beans, yeah. Try it, big boy. Don't let it split on you too bad. This is a slight, slight step down from our local Mexican restaurant. Isn't that great? You feel like a war fighter? I don't like that. Really? No, I don't like that. Well, go ahead and eat it. Finish it off. You don't have to if you don't want to, but no, I'm you, sure you're like You it. think you're my boss just because your name's on the podcast. And so, this is... The bed you made, and I'm gonna lie in it. I think I don't. I don't know what that saying's supposed to mean, honestly. It looks great. Get, go. You're you're up, then, big guy. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the I'm allergic to Southwest beef and beans card. Allergies, allergic. <coughs> wow, that I looks mean, that looks better than school food. I will say, I thought this would be. I would. I thought this would be worse. Really? What about the Doritos Locos Tacos? I'm a pretty pessimistic guy, though, so. (laughs) (laughs) Does it taste like a Dorito? No. 
Oh, do you want a tortilla and cheese? Because they gave you a lot of cheese for a reason. Yeah, let's get that cheese out here. All right, there you go. Here's the cheese. Oh, warmed it up for you. That's perfect. <laughs> Are you done with this? That's It's your turn. Oh, no, I'm good. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was under the... I'm not eating meat. I'm not eating Southwest. What even is Southwest? Is that India? What kind of corruption is this? Why should I eat this cheese then? I mean, it's... <laughs> Content. It's good. Content. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I, I'm eating my part. I'm eating the cake. <laughs> That's... Mm. Man, I'm sending prayers out your way. It, you gotta eat that. Okay. I'll eat it good. One more time, please. I'll eat it good. This is gonna be good. We need to send the troops to McDonald's more. Because <laughs> this ain't cutting it. Sorry, troops. I didn't... I didn't know. We y'all we all go through. They said that uh, you just got picked the right ones because we did an interview with some of them, and they said that back in with the day of, you, you interviewed the MREs. Yeah, we interviewed them. The MREs, and they were like, "Yeah, some of us are better than the rest of them." Yeah, yeah, they did, and they said that chili mac is the best. Chili macaroni. That sounds kind of good. They said it's hands down the best, and if you get it, you're lucky. They say that any of the vegan ones are pretty terrible, as imagined. Oh, vegan. Yep, vegan warfighter food. It's probably not the strat, is it? It's the cheese. Cheese is, cheese is the move. Is it? Well, they gave you two packs, so they really want you to enjoy it. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and crack open apple pieces in spiced sauce. I'm going to make a guess and say it's pretty much just applesauce with... <coughs> Too much cheese. <coughs> Boy and voyage, baby. This is great. Bone apple teeth. This is like an apple cobbler, but without the cobbler. So it's like apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so gonna, far, I'm so some, good. I'm going to have to have something stronger to wash that away. <laughs> you got to think about it. <clears throat> they create that meat, sauce, cheese, and they create it in such a That's way. so flat. They create <laughs> that stuff in such a way that it can... Sit at a room temperature for like 10 years and not go bad. 10 good years. Yeah. They got to put something wacky in it. But so far, this is pretty great. <laughs> oh, good. This is really good. I'm going to quit eating them right there, though, because I'm going to save them for later. Because we're moving into something else. Just put them in your pocket. I'll put them in, put them in your pocket. pocket. Here's the thing. How are we looking on time? We got, we're at 40 minutes in. We're good. All right, as for, we usually do a draft at the end of every episode. Ba-da-da, ba-da-da. Today's draft is something very special. That's copyright. That's not ESPN, so don't think it's that. It, it, no, because ours was in a C minor. ESPN is in, is in an F. That's true. That's So that's not a copyright. The Anyways. world is ending. You have to pick five people to protect you. Yeah. Protect me good. You have to pick five people. Who are you picking and why? We're going to go back and forth. The rules are simple. You have to pick out five bodyguards to tackle Doomsday. Okay? We're not talking jungle survival. We're not talking apocalypse. We, we're are, we are talking apocalypse. Doomsday. We, that is apocalypse. We're talking Doomsday. You need five bodyguards. Who are you picking? Do I get first pick? You get first pick. Okay. I'll, I'll pull up an image of what Doomsday might look like. Pick right number there. one. Pick number one. Out of everybody in the entire world, who you picking? Elon Musk. Really? You got to have a plan, guy. You think he's going to make a battle plan? I think if, I mean, if I can get some brute force behind him, you know, as far as innovation, stuff like that, he's way smarter than me. So You, you think he's going to be the one that... Create some kind of strat to go in and... Strat? Device? I don't know. I trust him more than I trust anybody else. Elon Musk is... The, I think he's the choice. That's a pretty fair pick. I'm going to build a, I'm gonna build a team with a variety of skill sets. We're going to be complimentary. Okay. My first pick is going to have to go Abraham Lincoln. Um, Are you... you stay seated for this one. He's dead. Can I take my pick back? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, okay. Dang. Uh, I'm going to have to go 
uh, 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 give me, give me the Pope. You're really bad at these. Yeah. He can use his robe. I don't think you think about your choice until you make it and then you try to explain it. The Pope, <laughs> he has influence. If we run up on some Roman Catholics, he can probably snatch some of their beans. <laughs> Didn't think about that, did you? I don't think that's As for the, Kentucky, uh, I don't know how... I don't think that's the move. All right, can I take my pick back? No. All right, that's my final one. I'm taking my pick back one more time. Dang. Who? The Rock. Okay, The Rock. He's big. He's old. He's bulky. He's old. It's your, it's, you, you can't change it now, though. He's wise. I'm going with The Rock. I've just got to convince these people that you're wrong and I'm right. Okay. So. Okay. Name one good acting performance he's had. <laughs> Jumanji 2. Definitely worse than Jamal's one, but go on. So as for my number two pick, I'm going Kevin Hart. I'm going Kevin Hart. Sometimes you may come up with some caves and you need someone small. That's who you go. You send him in. Like a jungle cat. Jungle cat. Go underneath the brush, infiltrate, and dilate. No, that ain't it. Okay. And he's funny. Okay. <laughs> Keeps the spirits high, yeah. Yeah. That's important. Um, Pick number... Pick number two for Team Tanner. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pick John Cena. Bones Jones. Oh. The most deadly man in the world. Probably. I think so. Maybe. Maybe not. As far as like bare hand combat, I'd say so. Okay. That's one way to do it. You know? Because you yeah. don't know if how many guns are going to be around or all that stuff. You got to have a guy that... That's true. That's true. You got to have that guy. That guy. And he is that guy. So, that's my... For y'all my, who don't know, he is an MMA fighter. The MMA fighter. Is it your turn or my turn? My turn. Okay. Who are you going with next? Let's see. I've got... I've got the brains of the operation. I've got the strength. Mm-hmm. Uh... What else is there? I don't know. That's like the only two components of people, isn't it? You can get a pilot. Jimmy Johnson. Who's that? Race the car NASCAR driver? NASCAR driver. Oh, okay. That's respectable. You know, he's going to get us out of some tough situations. Yeah. You I know who my me. next pick is? I don't, but you're going to tell me right here, I bet. I am. I am. Dang, I forgot. It was a good one, though. It really was. I for- who was it? Um. Were they alive this time? Um, John Cena. <laughs> that could be problematic, though, because what if you really need him and you can't see him? That's the thing. He's behind Emily Lines. <laughs> Emily Lines? <laughs> Emily Lines, he's right behind you. <laughs> he's behind Emily Lines, and they'll never know it. Some some girl named Emily Lines is watching this, <laughs> and she just gave a quick double take. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got John Cena. I got Kevin Hart. I have The Rock. And you know who I have next? No, I don't, but you're going to Ray Mysterio. Because he's just also a of wrestlers. <laughs> Kevin Hart's not a wrestler. But the other three are. <laughs> yeah, the other three definitely are wrestlers. But dude, Ray Mysterio, he can probably speak Spanish. My next pick, I'm going to take Khabib. Wow. No, well, are no, you just. No, so no, I, I just pick wrestlers. You're just picking. Yeah. MMA you, people. Yeah, because they're better fighters. Oh, my goodness. Oh, your goodness. What? I have three good picks. Well, you don't have three picks left. I've only got two. How many picks do I got left? I forgot. Three. I've got one. Sure. I've got Elon Musk, John Jones, Jimmy Johnson, and uh, Khabib. Khabib. So, my last pick. Hmm. Wow. Tough. You know, you think you, you think you know until you get right here on this mic, and it's a tough tough time to make this decision. Yeah. How many picks do I got? I got left two. Two picks left. Do they have to be a real person? Yes. Hmm. Iron Man does not count. Dang. He could really help out my life. Um, I'm going to go Keanu Reeves. 
I've okay. seen this. I've seen this tactical training, and I was gonna pick a Navy SEAL or something like that, but I don't know any Navy SEALs like off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Like I know some like the old retired ones. Yeah, I'm sure Keanu would give you some real good conversations. And I was about to say, he seems like a super nice guy. You need that, you know. If you're gonna be spending a lot of time with five dudes, y'all want to be friends, and you need a guy who can, you know, because mm-hmm. Elon's kind of weird sometimes. And John Jones and Khabib, Khabib don't even speak English, so that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> A little bit of a problem. Our chemistry should add Ray Mysterio. He also doesn't speak good English, I don't think. I could be incorrect, though. You don't know him like I know him. I don't have to. My next pick, my accountant. Because <laughs> I can't Khabib do does my... speak English. It's not his primary language, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. I'm going with my accountant. Because I can't do my own taxes. That's a bad pick. No, it's not. There's no taxes. You know Doomsday. my accountant. Doomsday, there's no You know tax. my accountant. That doesn't change. Yes, does. You know my accountant. Who's your accountant? Mm-hmm. Who? I can't say your name. Oh. But, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're an idiot. She. You're an idiot. Nope. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's one of the best picks you could pick. Talking about versatile. That's a bottom one pick of this draft. Like, if I had to pick a top five, <laughs> Those beans. I just got like this big spot. <laughs> <coughs> the Southwest winds. Southwest beans. Gotcha. You know who I'm going with my last pick? Andrew you're Flair. Already, you already picked five. Andrew Flair. That's six. Because if he has a ca- he has six. a camel, he has a camel. Oh my gosh! And we may need that camel. He has a turkey too, which I have a turkey as well. But he has one, and he's got goats. He's got a pig. That's six picks. He, Andrew didn't make the team. Sorry, I never said is the best five. We're going to fifteen. Nah, I'm just kidding. We ain't got that much time. But yeah, that's my pick. Here's my team recapping. <coughs> we have The Rock. We have Ooh. Kevin Hart, Ooh. Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Ooh. Andrew Flair, and my accountant. Who you got? Why do you get six? I made up the game. Okay, well, I'm going to pick a six then. I pick... Here, I'll just list off my team, and then on the end, I'll put my sixth person, okay? Okay. Elon Musk. John Bones Jones. Jimmy Johnson. Khabib. Keanu Reeves. And my last pick, Kendall Gray. Why? He got a lot of guns. I didn't even pick Kendall Gray for my team. He got a lot of guns. He can he, he can supply the team. He does. He don't have ammo though. That's why you get John Bones in there. He just you know lets them go to sleep right there. And go sleep real cool. And then you just go take their bullets. You know. Dang. Well then I'm gonna pick one more. No. You I'm can- going with Amelia Earhart. Oh yeah. She can fly plane. I'm gonna go with Justin Timberlake because he can sing. <laughs> he can sing good. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Vladimir Putin. I'm gonna go with Barack Obama because he's got resources. Because he was the first. He has black oil. President. If you liked the episode, guys, go ahead and tell us down in the comments if you got any questions, any concerns, or anybody that you think should be picked. Maybe Brain Price. Maybe not Brain Price. But if you want to, tell us down in the comments. Wait, I want to change my answer. I don't know Braden Price, but I'm gonna pick him over you. That'd be a better bet. He has more subscribers. I love you, Braden. Yeah, Braden. Bye!